Hey everyone, this is going to be an unboxing and a quick look at the Traxxas Stampede 4x4 XL5. Uh, this is one of the newer editions Traxxas came out with um, actually around the end of the year of 2013, um, probably like the first maybe week in December or maybe the second week, I'm not sure. So um, I picked this up from TowerHobbies.com and I actually got it there because they actually give you pretty good discounts and offer free shipping and stuff. So I normally try to get as many kits as I can from Tower because they do offer you some pretty good discounts. Uh, on the box, basic stuff. I'm not going to get too in-depth on there, but it does come with the 7-cell uh, nickel metal hydride battery. It gets a 2.4 gigahertz radio, but it also gets the Titan 12-turn motor and the XL5 speed controller. Um, other ah, features on this box, not too much to catch the eyes, but it does tell you in several different languages what you actually get in the kit, what's in there. You do still need double A's, as it's stating there. Um, I wish Traxxas would start including double A's with them. Um, on here, just telling you again, once again, about the stuff that comes in it. I did pick the red one, and what is this on top? This is just telling you about some of the features of it. It does come with the, um, as they call it, torque control slipper clutch. It does get the shock guards, uh, splash proof ESC, bell crank steering. Hopefully they still have the ball bearings in there. They didn't take those out. Uh, Revo style differentials. What I am noticing is that this gear does look a little different than the one that comes in the VXL. So that's going to be interesting to see if that is the same one or you actually have to buy an upgrade for that. So give me just a second and I will get this out the box. Okay, here we are with the truck out the box. Um, we'll go over what is actually included with it real quick. Not sure if this flash is too bright, so I'll go ahead and get that off. Um, basic tracks and stuff. Comes with a wall charger, uh, shock spacers. Um, I hear metal in it, so it's got to be the four-way tool for the tires and wheels. And they do actually give you the extra battery clip to fit a larger style battery in there, which is good. So you could probably fit some uh, bigger two-cell lipos in there if you wanted to do that. And instructions. Looks like they give you a couple extra stickers too in there. And of course, a manual. Uh, the radio is the standard Traxxas TQ radio. Um, it is 2.4, so that's good. And man, they got styrofoam everywhere. Um, yeah. um, it is the standard Traxxas um, radio, but it is now the 2.4, which is good. Uh, it has basic features on it, which is fine for the purpose of this truck and what they're trying to do for it. Um, don't need too much with this. It does use four double A's with it. So uh, now getting to the truck real quick. I can tell you guys right off hand just by knowing Stampedes. I've had so many of them that this does sit a little bit higher than a normal Stampede. It looks like it may be about an inch higher or so. Or maybe not an inch. Probably about a half an inch higher. But it does look taller than a regular Stampede uh, 4x4 VXL. It probably is because of these tires. This is one thing that's probably attracting a lot of people to this. Um, these tires, I can't tell if it's got foam in it or not. But they do have a good, pretty good compound. I do like that tread on it, that old tractor trailer tread look. So I don't think these tires have foam in it because it doesn't feel like it. I don't think they do. Which, for this type of tire with this type of hard compound, you won't have to worry about ballooning too much because um, the rubber compound on this is going to be pretty sturdy. So, actually, when you're getting up to speed with it, you don't have to worry about them ballooning out or turning into pizza cutters with that. Uh, as far as the body's concerned, uh, they did change the paint job just a little bit. Let me turn this around this way so it's a little bit better to see. Um, they look like they changed the paint scheme just a little bit. I kind of like this a little bit better. Um, yeah, I think I do like this a lot better than some of the other ones that they've had. I wish they would actually do this in like an orange color, but um, anyway, as far as the shocks go, I think that Traxxas has actually been doing a great job on 
getting a lot of their ready to run kits with some decent shocks and also some decent oil in them coming out the box. It does have spacers in the front that you can maybe and maybe not see there. Um, I don't know if you can see that there. It does have spacers in the front, but it does not have shock spacers in the back. I'll get the body off in just a minute. Um, everything else seems to be the same with this as far as body-wise. They just painted it just a little bit differently, which is fine with that. So let me go ahead and take this body off to see what's underneath. What they give you here, basic nickel metal, 7-cell uh, battery pack 8.4, which is fine. Um, fine to run, actually, with this brush system that they've given with it. So uh, I'll probably charge that up and try to get a running video up a little bit later on. Basic instructions. Don't feel like reading all that right now. Um, what is interesting, though, is that they do include the antenna tube and stuff, but this wire is actually really long. And don't know if you guys noticed that, but I just noticed this as well. There is a hole right here in the body so that tube can extend out. I'm not sure why Traxxas did that, but I will be tucking this wire probably in more because I don't want that to stick out. That's just going to take away from the look of the truck. They did include... The Titan 12 turn motor. I know a lot of people have had problems with this. I think I've run these maybe once or twice and then I've always exchanged it out. I think part of the problem with the Titan 12 turn is running these on a LiPo. I don't think they can really take running for a long time at the 7.4 or really 8.4 volts before the LiPo kicks in. So that may be one of the problems with it. And then I've known other people to actually not have any issues with it, but they've kept their motors pretty well maintained. Putting that in this type of truck, uh, I'm not sure how that's going to hold up, but we'll find out once I take it out for a run. I'll probably run like two battery packs through it. A couple other things that Traxxas has done that seems to be different. Just notice these. They actually put these foam spacers on here to help protect your body a little bit more, which is good. That's something actually good and unique that it's about time they started doing that. Um, get this off real quick. Just more instructions and warnings and everything else with that. Other things that seem to be different, of course, it does not come with a wheelie bar, which I think for this type of speed this truck's going to give, I don't think you would need one anyway. The box does say 30 plus miles per hour, but I doubt it'll hit 30, but probably hit more like 20. 20 or 22 if that uh they did include the shot guards here's some more of that foam sneaking out on me they did include shot guards but they did not include the adjustable camber links here which like i said for this type of vehicle is fine i think that they were trying to save a couple of bucks and not include that in there and also these steering links here if you can see that is a lot thinner than what normally comes on the regular VXL. So not sure if, how long those would hold up, especially if you start putting a lot of power in here, but we'll see. Only time will tell with that. They're not going to break right off hand. Uh, people have asked about the A-arms. They are the regular stock A-arms. They are not the Telluride arms, which is good. Um, looking under here, they did put in here the 2056 servo instead of the 2075 that comes in the VXL. And they also got a plastic drive shaft. I'm kind of curious if they actually put the metal front shaft on there or a plastic one. I can't really see up in there. Looks like it may be the metal one, which is good. Because if they made this part that's all the way back up in here, plastic, that's not going to last long. I know they included it on some of the first versions of the 4x4 Slash. Um, other differences with this truck. Um, I did a little research on it. They did include a 19 tooth, or I'm sorry, not a 19 tooth, uh, a 9 tooth pinion gear. The VXL comes with um, an 11 tooth pinion gear, but it does still have the 54 tooth spur gear on it. Um, other little things with this is it comes with the chrome aluminum wheels instead of the black, like the VXL. And 
not too many more differences. I did hear that inside the diff gears, they did use a different um, gear in there instead of the, uh, I think it's, I can't remember the actual number, but it's actually a different one that may actually be weaker than the VXL one, but I'll have to crack that open and see. It does seem to have bearings throughout. And that looks a little different, but it's probably just cleaner up in there. But yeah, that's bearings. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it does have bearings up in there. So I will try to get a running video up of this tonight. But this is the Traxxas Stampede 4x4 XL5. Uh, just to give you guys a, a quick, I guess, preview of what I'll be doing with this. I'm going to run it brushed stock a couple of times. And then I'm actually going to do some minor upgrades to it. Um, I'm going to try another brushed motor in it. Um, I do have a 12-turn metric motor that I want to try in it to see how that's going to work. I do have a 540 size, and I think I may order a 550. I'm going to try to keep it brushed instead of trying to convert it to brushless. If I do, I do have a very, very mild brushless system. But I'm really not trying to put a lot of power into this truck. I want to kind of keep it as a monster truck. And I do kind of want to do some bashing with it. But I don't want to have it so much power where it's doing wheelies and I can't control. I know some people like that. But I've had stampedes before and they were fun when I did it. But it also had to do a lot of maintenance on it as well. So. Stay tuned for a couple more videos up on this. Like I said, I'll try to get a, a running video where I run it for about maybe five minutes or so or until the battery dumps just outside or whatever so everyone can see how this performs. Have any questions or comments, be sure to put them below. Um, and be sure to also like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see some other things with this truck or anything else, just hit me up and let me know. I do have a light set. I'll probably put on it as well. I think that'll up and stand out a little bit more. So stay tuned.